Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are making a bed doll. She has a huge skirt on her dress that sets on your bed. Then we have our hat. Oh, I forgot to put the ribbon on her hat. But I designed this because when I was growing up, I live, my twin sister and I lived with my grandma and my grandma had some crochet stuff around her house. And one of them that my sister and I loved to play with was her bed doll, her crochet bed doll and her, um, toilet paper cover doll and her magnets. So this I am super, super, super happy about. It makes me makes me miss my grandma. <laughs> as tacky as that sounds. But I am overwhelmed with how happy I am that she came how she came out. So here's a couple of things that we need to talk about. First, what you're gonna need. What you are going to need is two I, now I just used Red Heart Super Saver. I used two skeins of Claret and it's just four weight. Now to be on the safe side, I would suggest you get um, three of each because I'd rather be safe than sorry. And everybody's tension is different. So you may come out with um, a, lot le a lot more yarn left over. You may not have any left over. So I would just say to be on the safe side, have three skeins of your main color, which mine is a claret, and then the white, I used two skeins of uh, Red Heart Super Saver white. So you can use any four weight, and you guys could just have crazy beautiful color combinations for this dress, three or four colors, or however you wanna do it. You're also gonna need a six millimeter hook scissors. Now I used a needle and thread and two buttons on the back of her dress that I buttoned down and I didn't weave my ends in yet. There they are. These two little buttons I put back here. And then I'm going to leave the uh, decorating, the decorations that you put on her up to you. But I used these little bows I got from Walmart. And then I used my hot glue gun to hot glue the, her little bow on. And then I didn't hot glue the ribbon on her hat and on her belly right there. Um... Just because all I have is thin ribbon and I don't really want to try to finagle a strip of hot glue on her dress and the ribbon. So I just thought I would tie it and if it comes off, I'll just tie it back on. But the ribbon that I did use is an eighth of an inch right there. And I got that from Walmart and it's just plain old white ribbon. I wish I had a little bit of a thicker. Let's see, this is an, an eighth. So maybe half half an inch, I'd say half an inch to a quarter of an inch for her belly right there and the same with her hat. But that's okay, I'm still happy with the way she turned out, she's gorgeous. And let's see, don't think there's anything else you're gonna need. You may need some stitch markers so you don't lose your place. Okay, so now the next thing I wanna talk about is the way I did this tutorial. Now, I know this is a long video and there's nothing I can do about that, but to keep it from being twice as long as it already is, I did something new in my in the tutorial for this and it is um, what I was just calling homework. And it's nothing hard, nothing, you know, that would be, that you would have to look up, you know, you, that you would have to Google what to do or YouTube what to do. I keep it all with you and um, my email address is in the description box. So if you ever need help at all, and I say it repeatedly through the video, email me. Don't be afraid to email me. 
yes, I have other things <laughs> going on, but never be afraid to email me and ask me for help because I don't want any of you guys to be left out and not understand what's going on. I would not want that for anybody. So that being said, oh, I guess the other thing you're going to need is a doll. <laughs> this is um, a My Generation doll from Walmart. Look at the tag. Oh, no, My Life. Her, she's a My Life doll from Walmart. I got her. Actually, I got another one that I planned on doing this with. And I found her at a resale shop or like a flea market deal. And uh, I was, I thought, well, I want another one because I, and I eventually want to design another dress, right? Well, I didn't realize that the My Generation and that the My Life dolls from Walmart are different sizes, slightly different sizes. But she is 18 inches. Now, Grandma had always had these in a, a much smaller doll and she, they had movable arms and legs and I cannot find one that has both movable legs and arms and that doesn't look like um, a baby doll. So I just said, I'm going to update her. I'm going to update her to an 18 inch doll. So don't forget your doll because you're obviously going to need that. <laughs> and um, I do want to show you guys... I got her to stand in this dress, and I couldn't believe it. But if I get her just right and fluff her dress out, I'm going to move my camera back as soon as I get this. I'll set, get her all set up. She stands. <laughs> I need to do something with her hair, but look. Isn't that neat? <laughs> I just thought that was so cool. Okay. So, get your guys' stuff together. Get anything that you need, want to decorate her. And like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Get three skeins of each color you want. Unless you're going to get those jumbo rainbow... Uh, rainbow. <sighs> jumbo red heart uh, skeins. Um, you can just get one of those or well, one and then a little one, but anyhow, get your yarn, your hook, all the stuff we're going to need to get her all set up and let's get started. Okay. To start our dress, we're going to start with a chain of 30. So go ahead and get your 30 crochet or chains done and come back. And for row one, we're going to single crochet into the ch second chain from hook. So we're going to go right in there. And we're just going to single crochet into each chain all the way across. So go ahead and get your single crochet done for row one. And when you come to the end, you should have 29 single crochet. Okay, so go ahead and single crochet across and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my chain. I have two more I need to work into. One and two. Now we're going to chain one and turn and for row two we're going to work two single crochet into our first single crochet so two into here and then one single crochet into the next two so one here and then one into the next And then we're going to work two single crochet into the next. And then one single crochet into the next two. Two. 
two single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next two, and that's what we're going to repeat to the end. So see how it's getting that bow in it? See right here how it's bowing? Little buddy, get so whenever we just had our row one with, that was just a single crochet, the, our chain and our single crochet would lay straight, right? Well, since we're increasing, which is increasing means two stitches and one stitch. So since we're increasing with the two single crochet and one of the single crochets, it's going to start to come around like a rainbow. And then that's what's going to set... That's what's going to set across her chest right here. So go ahead and repeat, get her standing back up, go ahead and repeat uh, the two single cro the increase into one, two single crochet into one si stitch, one single crochet into the next two, two into the next, and so on, and I'm going to meet you guys down here at the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end, and I have two single crochet left. And my next stitch is going to be the two single crochet together, so the increase, one and two, and now one single crochet into the last. Now if we lay it down and look at it, see how it bows up, up like that? That's exactly what we want. All right, so now you at the end of row two, you should have 39 single crochet. So to end that row, in row two, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna turn, and we're gonna half double crochet into the, I can't read my notes, hold on. Okay, we're gonna half double crochet into the first eight single crochets. So we're going to half double crochet into the first eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, skip six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next, we're going to start with our half double, I need to look to make sure I didn't, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, yeah, <laughs> Now we're going to half double crochet into the next 11. So we should have 8, chain 6, 12 half double. We've already got one, so we got to do 11 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we should have twelve half doubles right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Half double crochet into the next. And now we're going to half double crochet into the remaining, which should be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Should be looking like this. So we have, the reason we have more on one side than the other is because when we put it on her and we bring it around, we're gonna add a little button in the back to keep the dress closed. So that's why one end's a little bit bigger. That's okay, it's not gonna hurt a thing. All right, so that was the end of row three. To go ahead and finish, we're just gonna do our chain one and turn. Chain one and turn. And for row four, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch around, so all the way around. And when we get to our chain, we're going to work six half double crochets around our chain, half double crochet across here, six into our chain, and then work across to the end. But I want to show you guys at the chain part what I do. Because if you work your half double crochets around your chain and they're all bunched up together Then you're going to have to, you know, spread them apart. So I just, just go in there with the six half doubles, but I just, I'm moving along as I go, right? Like I'm not smashing them all together and I didn't count. So I have no idea. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one more. is six okay so now this part I kept getting I kept getting hung up on so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so when you're working across here turn this around when you come to the end it almost looks like that last one isn't a half double like it's a chain but it's not, it is a half double and you just have to make sure you get into there. Oops. So we need 12 half doubles. So we have, see, I'm already getting, <laughs> yeah, I was all right, okay. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> but it's okay. So here's what I'm trying to explain. Uh, not very well. <laughs> not good with words. <coughs> so it looks like we've worked into each of our double or half doubles, right? But we only have 11 when we should have 12. And it looks like here's our chain, right? But if I turn it around, see where that last half double needs to go? It just, it looks like a chain. and it just slides right in there. The hair. Okay, so now we're in our chain, so we're gonna work six half doubles around here. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we're gonna finish up this side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, that is the end of row four. So row five, or to end row four, we're going to chain one and turn. 
In row five, we're just going to half double crochet across. Nothing fancy, nothing, no counting, nothing. Just make sure you still have um, 39, right? I'm going to count to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. Okay, so row 5, 6, 7, and 8, all we're going to do is work one half double crochet in each stitch, making sure you have 39 half doubles at the end of each row. So go ahead and work your row uh, five, six, seven, eight, seven and eight. So five, six, seven and eight are just half double crochets. 39 half doubles at the end of each row. So get that worked and then come back here and we're gonna move on. Okay, I'm back and I just finished row eight. And this is what we should be looking like. Now this is how it's gonna set on our doll. So here, like we're working this back and forth like this, but this is how it's gonna set on her. So our tail should be at the top, okay? And this is what it should be looking like, have a little bow to it. All right, so now we're gonna move on to row nine, but to finish row eight, just like everything else, chain one and turn. Now row nine, we're gonna work two half double crochets into the first. So we're gonna increase into the first and then half double crochet into the next three, increase into the next. So we're gonna increase into our first with two half doubles into it and then one into the next three. One, two, and three. Increase into the next. And then one half double into the next three. And that's what we're gonna repeat across. One, two and three. That's what we're going to repeat across all the way to over here. So we just worked our three. Now we're going to increase one and two and then one into the next three. So go ahead and repeat this across and I'll meet you guys at the end of this row, row nine. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of row nine. I worked my, there it is, my increase, then my three half doubles, and now I have two stitches left. So we're just gonna increase into the second to last. And then half double into our very last. Now you should have 48 half double crochets. I'm gonna try it on her. I wanna see what it looks like. Get her hand in there. Slide it up. Oh, it's looking good. fitting her pretty good. We're getting close to starting our skirt, which is the biggest portion. Get her back out of the way. Yeah, what, like I was saying, which is the biggest portion of this pattern. We have one more row to go before we start that though. So for row 10, or I'm sorry, to finish row nine, we're going to chain one and turn. In row 10, we're just going to half double crochet across, just like you know any other row. 
and at the end of row 10, you should have still have 48 half double crochets. So chain one and turn and just start half crocheting along. So go ahead and ooh, missed that. Go ahead and half double crochet across and I'll meet you guys at the end. And then we'll be ready to start our skirt. Okay, so I just finished row 10 and I half double crocheted straight across. Still have 48. That's how it should look. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we're going to start our skirt. And now instead of working in rows, we're actually going to start working in the round. So for row, t or I'm sorry, to end row 10, we chain one and turn. And row 11 starts our skirt. And row 11, all we're going to do is half, or I'm sorry, double crochet, double crochet into each stitch across. Okay, so nothing fancy yet. One, two, So just go ahead and double crochet across your work and I'm going to meet you guys at the end. Okay, I made it to the end of row 11. Oops. I have one more I need to work into. Right there on the side. Okay, so now what we're going to do for the rest of this pattern is we're gonna slip stitch to our first double crochet of the row, round, chain one. And now for row 12, all we're gonna do is double crochet all the way around and make sure you get into that first one that we slip stitched into. So we have our first one and now we're just gonna double crochet all the way around. Oops, missed a loop. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and do that. Double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, so I'm coming around to the end of row 12 I'm going to double crochet in my second to last, double crochet into my last, and we're going to slip stitch to our first, and chain one. Almost looks like a little shirt. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of row 12. So row 13, we're going to do some increasing, which again is two, two um, double crochets into one stitch. So to start row 13, we're going to double crochet into our first. So we're going to go right back into that one that we slip stitch to. Double crochet, oh, that's a half. Double crochet into our first and then increase into the next. So that's two doubles into the next. Double crochet into the next. In, increase into the next. So that's two doubles into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. So we're, we're increasing this a whole bunch this round and that's what's going to make, make our dress start to come out this way so it's going to lay flat. So repeat that pattern around. Two double crochet into one, 
one double crochet into the next increase one double increase one double increase one double work that all the way around and I'll meet you guys at the end okay so I'm coming to the end of round 13 I have my increase I have two stitches left so I have one Oh, I forgot to turn my light on. Uh. <laughs> and then we're going to increase in the last. Slip stitch to our first. And chain one. And that's the end of row 13. So now you can see it looks like a bell a little bit. See how it lays? That's because we increase so much, you know, next to, because usually whenever you're working something like this, you're going to want to, not like this, I mean like a, like a hat, for instance, you don't want to increase so fast because that's what's going to happen. But on this case, this is what we want because we're going to keep working and working and working and working and it's going to come out and out and out and out and out and make a beautiful little skirt. So, I lost track of what I was going to say. Um... Oh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Uh, I want to mention that from here on out, the stitch count isn't that important. I mean, if, you know, you accidentally worked uh, a double, a double, then increased, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, as long as you're pretty close, you know, you know, it, I mean, it's, as long as you don't make like 30 mistakes on one round, it's not going to matter. Because, <clears throat> excuse me got choked up because and the reason I say that is because from here the from row 13 to the end of her skirt is a lot of stitches I think let me look I've got it wrote down by the time we finish her skirt we're going to be at like 200, three, 200, 300 stitches, 290 some 300 stitches. So, I mean, it's not a huge deal if, you know, you mess up a little bit and you're off by four or five stitches. It's not a big deal as long as, you know, you're following the pattern, pattern and you're doing the best you can. So, for, the reason I say this is because from here on out, I'm going to mention the... Uh, stitch count at the end of the rows but I just want you guys to know it's not a huge deal if you're off there's no reason to pull it out and you know because by the time we finish the skirt and we're up to like 250 some stitches do you are you really going to want to go back and count that many I mean you can I mean I totally understand if you want to I wouldn't <laughs> I would just keep going <laughs> okay having said that the end of row 13 you should have Where did I write it down? Oh, 72 double crochets. And also, I, I want to add to the, uh, the uh, stitch count not being that important from here on out. If you are off one or two stitches, your row may not end the same as mine does. And if that's the case, don't worry about it. It's... Like I said, it's not a big deal. I just want you guys to know that, it, you know, if you did mess up a little bit, your it, the end of your row is going to be a little different from mine. And that's perfectly fine. Okay. Moving forward. <laughs> row 14 is just a simple one. So we slip stitch. We chain one. And to start, we're just going to double crochet back into the first. And all we're going to do is double crochet all the way around. Easy peasy. So I do want to mention, I think you guys have a pretty good understanding by now what I mean when I say increase. All it is is two stitches in one stitch. That's it. So after this row, we're going to start the homework part. And like I said in the beginning, the reason I do this is because the way my 
editing software. My all my programs are set up. I can't have, um, you know. I'm trying to think exactly how many. I can't have like more than 14, 15 or 16, somewhere in there, portions of my video to edit together. So my best way of coming up to get this all in one video for you guys is to give you a little bit of homework. And I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm definitely going to, you know, make sure everybody's on the same page and everybody's understanding what the, you know, what the, what it, the rows that I'm going to give you guys for homework consists of. And for the rest of the skirt, it's all double, cro double crochets. There's no half doubles or any of that. All doubles. It amazes me how when I look at my camera, the yarn is so red, but in real life, it's like a maroon color. Anyhow, <laughs> I got off topic. But yes, after this row, row 14, I'm going to give you guys homework for a couple rows. And the farther we get along on her skirt, the more rows of homework I may end up uh, giving you guys because, like I said, I can't have a whole bunch of parts I have to edit together for my for my videos and then upload to YouTube. Plus, it's, I'm hoping this is going to keep my video from being an hour and a half, two hour, two and a half hour long video. But I'm trying to hurry up and get this done so I can go ahead and get you guys the homework. I'm going to write it out on camera for you guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'm going to work across here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it around. I have one double crochet left right here. So I'm going to go ahead and double crochet into this. Slip stitch to my first. And chain one and that is the end of row 14 I got something on her okay so now I'm gonna give you guys the homework okay okay so now we are to the portion that I'm gonna give you guys some homework round row rounds that's right the first time <laughs> and I promise it's not gonna be anything uh, hard at all. It's totally simple and I'm going to make sure everybody understands so I'm going to go slow. So the first round you guys are going to have for homework is round 15. Okay. Round 15 is a double crochet into the first. Double crochet into the first stitch which just like the rest of the pattern is the one we slip stitch to, right? Then we're going to double crochet into the next. Okay. And then we're going to increase into the next. So then after we increase, we work A double crochet into next two stitches. Repeat from asterisk. So what that means for anyone that you know that's not familiar with reading a pattern, what this means is just we're going to increase double crochet into in the next two. Increase, double crochet in the next two. Increase, double crochet in the next two. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Repeat from asterisk all around. Okay? 
and you should have 96 double crochet okay does that I hope that makes sense if you guys uh, if this doesn't make sense and you guys need help or anything, my email is in the description of all my videos. So if you ever need help, just go in that description box and uh, you'll see my email address and you guys can email me with any questions, okay? All right. And of course, you're going you're gonna to repeat the increase and the double crochet, increase and double crochet in the two I meant, all the way around. So the, the way it ends... It doesn't matter okay so as long as you're repeating that all the way around so let's say you have you're all the way around and you have two double crochet left and the the last stitch you worked was the last of the single double crochets if that makes sense so not an increase but you know the last so here, what I'm trying to say is, so you've worked your increase and you've worked one of your single double crochets, right? But you have two stitches left. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm three stitches left or whatever I said at the beginning. I don't remember what I said. So anyhow, so you have two stitches left and you increase in the next stitch, but you only have one stitch, one double crochet left. So you can't actually finish this doesn't matter as long as you have 96 or roughly that area it doesn't matter okay all right so we're gonna move on to round 16 this one's super easy that's it double crochet in each stitch all the way around and of course just like always Slip stitch to the very first of the round, chain one, start your next round, okay? Round 17. You're going to double crochet. Uh-oh, I misspelled. We're going to double crochet into our first, which is the same one you slip stitch to. Now we're going to double crochet into the next two double crochets and then we're going to increase. So how many double crochets do we have before our increase now? We have three, right? So on, on 15 we had two, 16 we just double crochet around. Now 17, we're going to have three double crochets before we increase. So double crochet into next three stitches. So we increase, which we know is two double crochets into one stitch, double crochet into the next three. So we have increase, double crochet, and three. Increase, double crochet, and three. So we're going to repeat. Repeat from asterisk all around. And like I said on 15, the where you end on the round may be different. You may be able to do all of it, or you may not be able to. It's no big deal. And you should have around 120 double crochet okay I hope this is making sense guys like I said don't forget my emails in the description to help you guys out okay so round 18 just gonna double crochet all the way around and that's it for that one and like I said, don't forget to end each round. It's the same thing. Slip stitch to the first double crochet of the round, chain one, go on to your next. All right, so round 19. So we went from two double crochet before our increase, three double crochet before our increase. Guess what 19 is? Four, right? 
for everybody that said four. <laughs> You're going to double crochet into your very first. into your first stitch, same one you slip stitch to, and then you're going to, oops, that's a C, not a D. I'm going to have this marker all over me. Double crochet into next three stitches. And now we increase. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope everyone understands this. Where was I? Double crochet in the first, then you got three, so there's four increase. Double crochet into next four stitches. And now we just repeat. Repeat from asterisk all around and at the end of round 19 you should have a hundred and forty four double crochet and here's the last row of your homework row 20 double crochet all around <laughs> okay, so I'm going to back my camera up a little bit so everything gets on there. And I'm going to leave this in this position for a little bit. So if you guys need to write anything down, you're going to have time to do that. But I'm going to go over this one more time. So I, I want to I don't want anyone left out. I want everybody to understand, even from people that have never read a crochet pattern before. This is similar to what they look like. Um, some are a little different. Some people write everything different, but it, it's all it's all depending on who wrote the pattern. OK, get her out of the way. All right. So we finished row 14 together. Slip stitch to your first double crochet of the round. Chain one. Start 15. 15, we double crochet in that first one, double crochet in the second one, increase in the next. And what's an increase? Make sure everybody remembers. I in C equals two double crochet into one stitch. Does that make sense? So we're increasing our stitch count. That's why that's called an increase. Let me get this all back on camera. Okay. So we're going to increase. Let me start over because I've lost where, track where I was. So we finished round 14. We slip stitch to the first double crochet, chain one, start 15. 15, we double crochet right into that first or into that same double crochet we slip stitch to, which is the first stitch, double crochet into our next, increase into the next, double crochet into two, increase, double crochet, two, increase. Repeat that all the way around. And remember, the way you end, you could be on the first of your two single double crochets, or you could be, you know, it could be an increase at the end. Not, it doesn't really matter. So uh, you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch of the round, and you should have 96. Chain 1, row 16, double crochet, or I mean, uh, yeah, slip stitch to your first, chain 1, double crochet into your first, double crochet into each stitch all the way around. You should still have 96 double crochet. Slip stitch to your first, chain 1. Double crochet right back into that. Double crochet into the next two. So now you should have one, two, three double crochet. And now you're going to increase. And you're going to double crochet into three. Increase. Double crochet into three. Increase. Back and forth. Just keep going. All the way around. Slip stitch to your first. And you should have 120 double crochet. Chain one. <coughs> 
Sorry about that. Uh, uh, slip stitch to your very first double crochet of the round, chain one, double crochet right back into that stitch, and just work one double crochet into each all the way around. Slip stitch to your first, chain one, double crochet right back into that one, that double crochet you slip stitched into, and then double crochet into the next three. So now you should have four double crochets to begin your row 19, and then you're going to increase, double crochet into the next four, increase, double crochet in the next four, increase, all the way around, slip stitch to the very first double crochet of the round, chain one, and you should have 144 double crochet. So you slip stitch to your very first one of the round, chain one, and then you start row 20, which is double crochet right back into that first one, the one, the same one you slip stitch to, and then just double crochet into each one all around, and you should still have 144, give or take two or three, no big deal. And that's the end of your homework. So I will, in this video, I will come back and I'm going to have row 20 done, okay? So I am going to position this to where you guys can see, and nobody say anything about my sloppy handwriting, I know. <laughs> That's one thing I've never been known for is good handwriting. Anyhow, so I'm going to let this sit here for a minute. So if you guys need to write any of this down, you can. And I'll say it again because I don't want anybody to not understand or be left behind. My email address is in the description box all the way at the bottom. you got to scroll through a couple of links I have. And it's there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to let this sit here for a minute. If you guys want to write it down or don't need to, go ahead and move on. But I'm going to come back at the end of round 20. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I finished my row 20. And this is what it's looking like. So if yours is a little... Um, you know, fold it at the bottom. Don't worry about that. We're going to take care of that. The more rounds we work. So how did you guys do with the homework with the 15 to 20? Was it all right? If it wasn't, like I said, email me and I will be more than happy to help. My cat laid on my dress. I've got a piece of cat hair. <laughs> okay. So we are going to do the homework again. And I promise it's not going to be as long as the last one. Let me get my little whiteboard. All right, so for the homework I'm going to give you guys again, it's going to be super simple. We're going to do row round 21, 22, and 23, okay? Let me get my marker. Okay, I have a bubble in my throat. <clears throat> All right, so let me get some things moved. Okay, I'm going to start with row 21. So row 21, we're going to double crochet into our very first. All right, now we're going to double crochet into the next four. Not, <laughs> I spelled that wrong. Neck, next four. <laughs> I wrote N-E-X four instead of N-E-X-T four. The next four stitches. So that means we're up to five before we work our increase increase into next so now we're going to double crochet into the next five that's a horrible five and then we're going to just repeat that around 
repeat from asterisk. I cannot write today. Dang. Around. Okay, so don't forget our, our increase is two double crochets into one stitch, okay? So you're going to repeat that around. And for those of you that are keeping track, you should have 168 double crochet. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> round 22. We're just going to double crochet in each stitch. So I'm just going to put double crochet all around. All right, so the last one for our homework. We're going to repeat. Row 21, okay? So we're going to double crochet into our first, double crochet into the next four, and then we're going to increase into the next, double crochet into the next five, increase into the next, double crochet into the next five, increase all the way around. And at the end of row 23, you should have 196 double crochet. Okay. So we went, we're going to go do the five. You know, double crochet into your first, then there are four, then we're going to increase, five increase, five stitches increase, five doubles, I should say, increase. Okay? And don't forget, just like every other round, slip stitch to your first double, chain one, work your very first double into all three of these rounds into your the same double crochet you slip stitch to, okay? All right. So I know that's, it's <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose of a tutorial to do, I was thinking about this after I got done filming the other day when I showed you guys the homework. I mean, I understand it completely defeats the purpose of a tutorial, right? I mean, I should be doing every round with you, but I kind of, I, I see the pros and cons of doing it this, doing this project this way. I'm not going to do every project this way, but doing this project this way for one, it helps those who have never, let's say, never seen a crochet pattern or never doesn't know how to read a crochet pattern. It kind of like introduces you into that. And for those of you ha who have never read a crochet pattern or seen one, this the, all crochet patterns are written a tad bit different, but this is the gist of all of those together. So some of them may say for, oh, here's a good example. For instance, some of them may say two double crochet into the next instead of increase, right? I mean, it's just an introduction in a sort of way <laughs> to help out. And another advantage of doing a, a pro of doing this is that I can condense a video that would originally be two and a half hours. I'm, and I'm guessing at that long video into as small as I can get it, if that makes sense. I, it's hard to understand. It's hard to explain to you guys the editing process when you have so many clips to, it's a pain, but okay. So I'm going to stop yapping. So you guys go ahead and work row 21, 22 and 23, and I will come back and I'm going to show you what I have. And then we are going to start row 24 and we're almost looking at my note, my notes I have written, we're almost done with the skirt of the dress. So you guys get row 21, 22, and 23 done, and we're going to come back and we're going to start, we're going to do row 24 and uh, go from there. All right. If you need any help, please do not hesitate to email me. I will be more than happy to help you guys. Okay. Get your homework done and come back. Okay. So we just finished or I did, just finished round 23, and this is what it should be looking like so far. Um, if I can reach my tape measure. So if I don't measure the, like I can't go directly across the center because of the little, the body of the dress, but just underneath it right here, we're just about at 18 inches, almost. Okay, 
So, we're going to move on to round 24, and I'm going to go ahead and do this on camera with you guys. So, row tw round 24. Alright, so I slip stitch to my first, chain one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work back post double crochets. One back post double crochet. My camera kind of moved a little bit. I'm trying to fix it. Sorry about that. Okay, one back post double crochet in each double crochet round. So we're just going to yarn over, and the same one that we slip stitched into, we're just going to slide that over a little bit, and we're still going to work into that back, back loop. Now the reason why is because, so, let me explain this. So we're going to work round 24, and we're going to have a loop left, so it's going to have a little line around it, right? And then we're going to work past that a little bit more, and then we're going to be done with the skirt, and then we're going to put a ruffle at the bottom. And then we're going to come back to row 24, and we're not going to need to mark it because you're going to be able to see it perfectly fine with the line left. And we're going to go to, into each one of the loops that are left. So that's the, and it's going to add another layer of um, ruffle. So that's why we're working the, uh, the back loops now. And I, I also wanted to say, I, I hope you guys don't mind, but like my hands are covered in little bitty nicks. If you look, little bitty nicks and cuts everywhere from the kitten we have, the new kitten we got in our house. He is a butt. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's all we're going to do for round 24 is go only into the back loops. And normally any other time I tell you guys to, you know, hold on to the bottom so it's not stretching real far. Honestly, it's not going to matter because once we add the round that is the ruffle, it's going to pull this back down if that makes so like like right here you guys can see that's the the back loop I just worked into but whenever we come back around and work into this loop it's gonna pull it back down see so don't even worry about holding on to it or stretching it, it ain't gonna hurt anything working not holding on to it So that's all we're going to do for round 24 is just the back loops. Now, I also do want to say that like the back loop. So like when you're working around in the round, right? Your uh, body of your dress is up. So that way, you know, the back loop is the one away from you, right? I just wanted to mention that in case somebody or anyone was confused with it. So don't want anybody confused. I want everybody on the same page. I hope you guys are doing all right with the homework portions. I'm going to, after row 24, I'm going to assign a little bit. Uh, I have such a hard time crocheting and talking at the same time. <laughs> it, like I was saying, after row 24, I'm going to assign you guys one more chunk of homework. Oop, I think I split that. One more chunk of homework, and this is going to be the biggest chunk, but it's also going to probably be the easiest. And uh, then we're going to start the ruffles, and we'll do that. Then we're going to do our sleeves, and then we're going to do a little hat. And we'll be done. So this, even though this dress is beautiful, it's just, it's all simple stitches. You know, nothing too complicated. And that's why I have faith in you guys when it comes to the homework portion. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish row 24 off camera. And we're going to come back and I'm going to give you guys the last chunk of homework. Okay, so I've made it to the end of round 24. And now can you guys see the line that it leaves? That's what I meant that we were going to be working into for our ruffle later on. Okay, so I actually have one more to go into. Slip stitch to our first. Chain one, and we are ready to move on. So... 
I am going to fold this up, set it aside, and get our my trusty whiteboard here. And like I said earlier, here, this is the, probably the largest chunk, but going to be the easiest of the homework. All right, so let's get started. Row round, round, round. Not row, Alana. Round. <laughs> round 25. We're going to just double crochet in each. Each stitch around. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, at the end of row uh, 24, you should still have 196 if you're keeping count. No big deal. All right, so row 26. We're going to double crochet into our first. And then we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So we're back to our increase rounds, increase into the next. I'll put next stitch. And then we double crochet into the next three. Double crochet into next three stitches. And we are going to repeat from asterisk around. Okay. I'm going to draw a line to help you guys see the difference so you don't get confused. Alrighty. So does this, this make sense? We double crochet into our first and the next two, and then we increase. And our increases are what? Two double crochet into one stitch. <laughs> or one double crochet, whichever. Okay, then we're going to double crochet into the next three. And we're going to repeat. Increase, three doubles. Increase, three doubles. Increase, three doubles. All right, so we're going to go on to round 27. Look at my notepad here. All right, 27 is double crochet into each stitch around. Okay, that's 27. Here's 28. And we're going to do that again. Double crochet into each, into each stitch around. All right. And we're going to move on to 29. 29. Okay, so round 29, we're going to double crochet into our first. Double crochet into first stitch and we're going to double crochet into the neck. Ooh, I forgot my E. Into the next three double crochet. We're going to increase into I'm sorry, I should have put stitches. I don't want to use cro double crochet because I don't want you guys to get confused. Double crochet in the next three stitches. Increase into next stitch. And another reason I'm not using, I'm not saying double crochet into the next three double crochets is for, um, for those of you that don't, that aren't familiar with reading or seeing crochet patterns sometimes they do say what stitch you're going to double you're going to work into and sometimes they just say stitch so it, it's easier if you you know you get used to just seeing stitch where was i okay increase okay so now we're going to double crochet into the next into the next four stitches repeat repeat from asterisk around there you go so at the end of this round you should have a whopping 294 double crochet 
oh, and 26 is 245 double crochet. Okay, so now we are on round, oh, I just realized not everything was on camera, I'm sorry, round 30. Let me adjust this. Round 30, we're just going to double crochet into each stitch around. And then guess what? We're going to fasten off. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this on camera and then I'm going to I'm going to just let this set for a second so you guys can take the time to write it down or take a screenshot whatever you want to do. Oh, I can't get round 25 in there. Come up even higher. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we did 24 together-ish. So we're going to start 25. Do double crochet all the way around. 26. We're going to double crochet in the first one. Same one we slip stitched to at the end of 25. We're going to double crochet into the first one. And then into the next two. Then we're going to increase. Double crochet in the next three. Increase. Next three. Increase. All the way around. Slip stitch to our first. Chain one. Move on to round 27. We're going to double crochet into each stitch around. Slip stitch to our first. Chain one. Come to round 28. We're going to do the exact same thing. Slip stitch to our first. Chain one. We're going to come to round 29. We're going to double crochet in our first. Then we're going to double crochet into the next three. Then we're going to increase. Then we're going to double crochet in the next four. Increase. Four doubles. Increase. Four doubles. Increase. Four doubles. All the way around. And for our last round, yay, we're going to double crochet into each stitch around. And then we're going to fasten off, and then we're going to be done with the body of our skirt. And we're going to add our ruffles, and then our sleeves, and our hat. So, you guys get this all worked up. Come back here, and we are going to start our ruffles. And like I said, do not forget, if you need any help at all, email me. It's in the description box. I will be more than happy to help you guys. All right. So get this done and come right back. Okay, so I am coming around and I'm finishing round 30. So I'm going to slip stitch to my first, chain one, and I'm going to pull up a loop so I can weave in my ends and cut. Okay, <laughs> pull this. Now we are going to start the ruffle. So for my ruffles, I'm going to go with white. <clears throat> Excuse me. And to get started, we're going to get a slip knot on our hook. And I'm going to go right into that last stitch we slip stitch to. Slip stitch. Chain one. And for the first row of our, I'm going to call this the, our first ruffle, we're going to work three double crochet into each double crochet around. It's a lot. <laughs> So we're just going to, this first one, we're going to have to shift some stitches around to get three doubles in there. All right. And that's all we're going to repeat for this row, round. Three doubles in each stitch. It's two and Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish this, and uh, we're not going to have homework for a little bit. I'm going to do this ruffle with you. 
so then that you can see what the next ruffle is going to be like. But the farther and farther around you work on this, the more our ruffle is going to want to, you know, it's going to want to go like that. It's going to want to like rough, uh, roll up a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly normal. We want that. Okay. Um, so yeah, for, I'm going to call this row one of our first ruffle. So we're just going to work three double crochet in each stitch around. So you guys go ahead and I'm going to finish mine off camera. You guys get yours done and come back and we're going to move on. Now this ruffle and the our other one too. Oh, I only did two in that one is, uh, is three rounds. Okay. Two and three. All right, there you can see how it's wanting to ruffle up like that. Okay, so go ahead and finish yours and come back here and we're going to move on. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I've made it all the way around with three double crochet in each stitch. See how roughly it gets. Trying not to disturb somebody who's sleeping. <laughs> so now all I need to do is work three double crochet in my last stitch. Two and three. And just like normal, we're going to slip stitch into our first. And we're going to chain one. Now this, the round I'm going to show you now, and then the very next round is the same. All we're going to do is one double crochet, don't forget your very first one, in each stitch all the way around. And that is it to finish our ruffle. Just one double crochet. So round one of our first ruffle is three double crochet in each stitch. Round two that we're doing now is one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And then I'm not going to film the next round, which is just one double crochet. Just repeat what we're doing right now. Round two. Repeat round two. Okay. And then when you get this done, when you get the one double crochet around, or I mean the first ruffle done, I'm, we're going to come back and I'm gonna, we're going to start the second ruffle. Okay. Easy peasy. And then after we finish our second ruffle... We're going to work on the sleeves, which is super easy. It's not too complicated. And then to finish it all off, our hat. So go ahead and work round two and three. Slip stitching to your first, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Slip stitching to our first double, chain one, and work around as normal. So finish round two, work round three, which is, again, just a double. And don't forget, email me if you need any help. And I will be more than happy to help you. And uh, I will meet you guys in a little bit after that. Okay. I gotta stop. Stop crocheting, Alana. Stop crocheting, Alana. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've gotten the first ruffle, ruffle completely done. Give you guys give yourselves a pat on the back, because that ruffle, this, this is why I wanted to do this one first, because it, see, after you work the three double crochet in each stitch, row two and row three, it seems to be never-ending. <laughs> so I went ahead and slip stitched to my first double crochet. I'm going to chain one, pull up a loop, and we are going to cut, and of course, I don't have a single pair of scissors around me. Okay. Oops. Dang it. And we're going to cut. Pull through. And there you go. Fasten your end in. And now what we are going to do, or I'm sorry, weave your end in. 
now what we're going to do is we're going to start a second ruffle, the exact same pattern that we just got doing. So I'm going to let you guys work your first, second, and third rounds. But I'm going to show you how we're going to attach. Nothing fancy. I just want to make sure everybody knows how to do it. So if you look right here, we can see... Get something else. If we look right here, there's our uh, slip stitch and our chain one. And it's coming from right there. So right there is where we're going to attach. I'm just going to slide in there. Pull through chain one. And we are going to work three double crochet into each of the remaining loop we have from row 24 all the way around. It's one, two, and three. And that is how we're going to work this around row one, round one of our second ruffle. Okay, so keep, do exactly what we did for our first ruffle for our second one. Okay, so row one, three double crochet into each remaining loop that we have from row 24 all the way around. Get back to your first, slip stitch into your first double, chain one, work one double crochet all the way around. Slip stitch to your first, chain one, one double crochet all the way around, and I will meet you guys at the end of row three. And all we're going to do is the same thing. We're just going to slip stitch to our first, chain one, cut, weave in our ends. But I will meet you guys there, and then we're going to our sleeves, and then our hat, and then any kind of pretties that we want to add. All right, so go ahead and work your round one, two, and three for a second ruffle, and I will meet you guys at the end of row three. Okay, we're back, and our ruffles are done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Who feels like a double crocheting machine? <laughs> Raise your hand if you feel like a double crocheting machine. <laughs> Fly through those things. Okay, now we're going to start on our sleeves. So, what we want to do, here's my sleeve hole, couldn't find it. I'll move this. Okay, so we want to hold our dress top to where the back, I got it backwards, is to us. Because we want to start in the back. And what we're going to do, get my yarn over here. I'm going to start with the slip knot on our hook. Okay. And now hold up your piece. And if you see that little hole right there, right here, we're going to go right in there, slip stitch, chain one, and right back in there again with a single. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so now I'm we're to the bottom of double crochet, so all you can see is a bunch of um, uh, the leg parts of the stitch, I'll say. <laughs> we're going to go in between two, so we're going to skip two of those legs. And what we're going to do is we're going to evenly space out uh, 20 single crochets around. So we've got one, two, skip two of those. Three, skip two, four, skip two more, they just slide right over, five, six, seven, Uh, 
I'm going to go right here with eight. All right, so now we are done with that. Now I'm going to go right into this next hole for nine. And now we're to single crochet. So we're just going to single crochet in each single. So that was nine, 10, 11, 12, get my tail out of the way. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm going to go in there again for seventeen and again for eighteen. And you see right here, I'm going to go right in the middle for nineteen and then right into that gap right there for 20. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten up that slip stitch and I'm gonna slip stitch to my first. That doesn't want to go in. Oh, cause that's the chain one. I'm going into the wrong thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was round one. So for round two, all we're gonna do is chain one and single crochet in each single all the way around. So go ahead and make it all the way around your, your sleeve hole. Just work in one single crochet in each single and then come back and we're gonna move on to round three. Okay, so I've come back around and to end round two, we're gonna slip stitch to our first, chain one, and for round three, we're gonna single crochet in the first 16 stitches. So basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna single, focus on me, we're gonna single crochet all the way around for our 16 stitches and then we should have four of them that are gonna be left, okay? So single crochet into our first. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, stuck, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So I have one, two, three, four left. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work a single crochet decrease over the next two and then the last two. So we just go in, grab our loop, pull up, two loops, go into the next stitch, grab a loop, pull it up, three stitch it, three loops, yarn over, pull through three. So we made two singles to one. We're gonna do that again. Go in, pull up, go in, pull up, three loops, yarn over, Pull through all three and we slip stitch to our first okay so that's the end of round four uh, three so for round four we chain one and we're gonna single crochet all the way around again but we're gonna stop when we're two stitches away from the end okay so we chain one and we are one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And there are our last two singles. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet decrease over those two. And slip stitch to our first. And that is the end. <coughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> that is the end of round four. All right, so for round five, we're going to chain one, single into our first, and we're going to repeat round three, but instead of the 16, we're just going to single crochet around until there's four stitches left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Yep, so, so 13. Now we have four singles left, and we're going to single crochet decrease over the f uh, next two, and then over the last two. And we're going to slip stitch to our first. And that is the end of round five. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're not going to slip stitch at the beginning and end of our rounds, okay? I'm trying to get everything situated here. What we're going to do is we're just going to single crochet around. But to help us not lose track of where we are, I got a little stitch marker here. You can use a piece of scrap yarn. It doesn't matter. So for round 6 to 19, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to start row 6, round 6, and we're, all we're going to do is single crochet all the way around okay I'm gonna do this really quick because I want to I mean like single crochet around because I want to show you guys how we're gonna uh, I don't want to say end because we're not gonna end our rows anymore rounds anymore what we're gonna do is mark mark the first single and then that's going to let us know when we are finished with uh, round six, seven, or eight, you know, and so on. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I've got one more to work into here. Now, if, into the first stitch, I'm not going to slip stitch. I'm just going to single crochet into it, okay? And then I'm going to mark it. Mark that first single, okay? So now I know I just finished round six and I'm on round seven. And that's all we're going to do. So for round seven, we just keep single crocheting around. Almost there. I lost that one. Okay, so I'm to the stitch before my uh, stitch marker, so now I know that's the end of round seven. So, like, on a piece of paper off the side, you know, I'd write, I'd, um, it's however you guys want to do it, and, you know, just mark whichever round you're finishing. So I'm finishing round seven, so now I know that I'm going on. Sorry, I bumped the camera. I'm going on to round eight, but I don't do anything different. I just keep single crocheting around. Bumped it again. Okay, does that make sense? Basically, all we're doing that one stitch is letting us know when we finish a round, and then you know, just mark down. Okay, I finished this round. 
So what we're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna re the single crochet around for uh, for round six to nineteen. So if you get lost where you are, pull this out a little bit, and right here is where we attached. So we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm worse, just started round eight. Okay. So finish all the way to round 19, okay? And I will meet you guys back at the end of round 19 and we're gonna, we're gonna almost be done with the sleeve after that. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am at the end of round 19. I'm at the stitch before my stitch marker. So I know I'm finished with that round. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip stitch to the first stitch, the same one that was marked, I'm gonna slip stitch, chain one, pull up a loop so I can weave in my end, and we are gonna cut. Pull that out, pull nice and tight, and we're gonna weave that end at the end. Now we have one more round to do, and we are done with our sleeve. So what we're gonna do now, oops, wrong piece. So we are gonna attach attach our white and we're, now we're going to add a little fluff at the end I shouldn't say fluff I meant like a little ruffle so I'm going to start with a slip knot go ahead and put that on my hook now right into the exact same stitch that we slip stitch to Slip, slide that slip stitch over just a tad and that's same spot where we're going to start okay we're going to go right into that stitch slip stitch chain one gonna tighten that down and now we're going to work two single crochet in each stitch all the way around and that's what give us that, gives us that little bit of a ruffle at the end of the sleeve. So all I'm doing is just working two, did I work? Yeah, two single crochet in each stitch. Just about done. One and two. 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 One more. One and two. All right, now we're gonna slip stitch back into our first. Chain one, pull up a loop to weave in our end. Cut. And there you go. There is your sleeve. So get all your ends weaved in. Now what I like to do is I like I'm going to I like to get my fingers in here and just kind of give that a little bit of a stretch just to open that up. <laughs> so go ahead and weave in your ends on this sleeve and don't forget the one you got on the inside and make your other sleeve. Okay? And then come back and we're going to get started on the next part. So get that all done and then come back guys. Okay, so we have our sleeves done, and now we are gonna work on the hat. I need to adjust this just a tad. There we go, that's better. All right, so to get started, we're gonna get a slip knot on our hook, and we're gonna chain four. One, 
one, two, three, and four. We're going to slip stitch to our first. There's the inside of my, my ring. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to work six single crochet into our ring. So we're just going to go in, pull up, and I'm going to try to make sure I get worked over my tail so I can pull that tight later. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that was round one. And now we're just gonna slip stitch back to our first. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Nope, that's just chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm gonna slip stitch to my first single. Okay, now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna move on to row two, or round two. So round two, we're gonna work two single crochet into each stitch around. So we need to go right back into that same one that we slip stitch to and we're gonna work two, two single crochet into each one One and two, one, two, one and two, one and two, so that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's my slip stitch, my chain one, and our first stitch, single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch into our first. I'm going to go ahead and pull my tail tight. All right. So now we're going to move on to round three. Bump the camera again. Okay, so we're gonna chain one, and now we're gonna uh, sink one single crochet into the very first one, which is the one we slip stitched into. So we're gonna get in there, work one single, and now we're gonna increase into the next. So what does the increase mean? It's two single crochets into one stitch. So round two, we just increased all around, right? And now round three, we're gonna single, increase, and then we're going to single into the next. Increase into the next, which is the two, one, and two, and single crochet into the next. Increase into the next, one, two, and then a single crochet into the next. So go ahead and repeat that around, and I'll meet you guys when we get to the beginning. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I've made it around and my last single crochet got the, was the increase. And now I'm gonna slip stitch to the first. Chain one. All right, now we're on round one, two, three. Now we're on round four. And we're gonna work one single crochet into the same stitch that we slip stitch to. one single crochet into the next and then increase into the next one single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and increase into the next one and two and that's what we're just going to repeat around one single crochet into the next two single crochet and increase into the next. 
single crochet, single crochet, increase. Okay, so repeat that around and I'm gonna meet you guys at the end. Okay, so I've come to the end of the round and my last stitch was an increase. And now I'm gonna slip stitch to my first, chain one, and now we're gonna start round five. So round five, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a single, a single, a single increase. So three singles, then an increase, three singles, then an increase, three singles and an increase all the way around, okay? So we're gonna go right back into our first single crochet we slip stitched into. So that's one single into the next and into the next. So there's three and now we increase into the next. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that around and then um, so that's round five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're on round five. So you guys go ahead and repeat that around. And then when we come back, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of homework for the last time on the last part of our doll. <laughs> so go ahead and finish round five and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm at the end and my very last stitch is going to get the increase. One and two slip stitch to the first, chain one, and then we just keep going. So here's where I'm going to give you guys a little bit of homework. It's not going to be anything like our, the skirt part of our dress. Let me grab my marker. Okay, so we just finished round five. And remember, just like always, the end of every round, we're gonna slip stitch to the first and chain one, just like normal, okay? So for round six, we're gonna single crochet into our very first, very first stitch, okay? Then we're gonna single crochet into the next, not then, into the next three. So like round three, we had three single crochet, then an increase. So on round six, we're going to have our very first one and then three more. So we're going to have four single crochet and then we're going to increase, increase into next. I'm going to put my little asterisk because that's where we're going to repeat. And now we're going to work. We're just going to do like we did. Single crochet into next four. Repeat from the asterisk around. And it honestly, on for the hat, it, the stitch count still doesn't matter. If you're off to one, two, three, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, and the way we end each round could potentially vary depending whether, you know, you skip a stitch or not, or accidentally add one. It's no big deal. So that's going to be round six. Slip stitch to our first and chain one. Then we're going to go on to round seven. So for round seven single crochet into the very first, into our very first stitch. No, not that. There. And now we're gonna single crochet into the next four. So now we're gonna be doing every, uh, we're gonna do five single crochets and then increase. So, Asterisk, and then we increase into the next. Single crochet into the next five. So single crochet into five, increase. F single crochet into five, increase. Single crochet into five, increase. All the way around. And then we're going to finish like we always have. 
repeat from the asterisk around slip stitch to our first chain one now we start round eight round eight we're just I'm, I'm gonna kind of simple this up a little bit we're just gonna single crochet all around no more no increasing just single crochet one single crochet all the way around slip stitch to our first chain one and then we move on to round nine I look at my notes here okay so sorry about that guys so what we're gonna do is round eight actually I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of this too because we are gonna do round eight through 16 it's one single crochet around so we I like to do this because this helps me um, uh, what, how am I trying to explain this this helps me keep track of where I am so I have 8 to 16 so I have round 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine rows that are gonna be just the single crochet. Rows, rounds. If I had a dollar for every time I messed that up. <laughs> rounds of single crochet. So one way I don't like to do it is so I worked round eight so then I'd mark that off, work round 9, round 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then I know I'm on track, right? So that's going to be your guys' homework. So get these rounds done. I'm going to adjust this a little bit so you can see. Six, round 6, 7, and then 8 through 16. So I'm going to leave this so you guys can write it down, take a screenshot, whatever you need to. And remember, end each round by slip stitching to the first single crochet of your round and then chaining one and then starting your new round. Okay? So get that done and then come back here and then we're going to move on. we got a little bit more to do. Okay, so we just finished round 16. And I'm going to slip stitch to my first, chain one, and now for round 17 we're going to be working in the back loops only, and we do need to work into the back loop of the same one we slip stitched into, so I'm just going to go right in between them and work there. Okay, so we're just going to back loop single crochet all the way around. And we're not worrying about it stretching a little bit. And we should be having a little ridge right here show up. That's the remaining loop of our single crochet we're working into. So go ahead and just back loop single crochet all the way around. And I still have a cat hair. <laughs> I still have my tail in here. I haven't weaved that in yet. You can go ahead, weave it in. I should have weaved it in, but I didn't. I got too busy crocheting instead of thinking about it. <laughs> so just go ahead and back loop single crochet all the way around for round 17. And I will meet you guys at the end. Okay, I'm coming around to the end. I have two more to work into. One and two. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch to our first, go, going through both loops. Chain one. Chain two. Chain three. Chain four. Chain five. Chain six. Chain seven. Chain eight. 
chain one, pull up a loop, and we're going to snip this. I have a knot right there. Perfect timing. Where did my scissors go? I had them. I did. Right before I started the video, I thought I'm going to need these scissors, so I better put them over here. And now I can't find them. Okay. So we're going to cut. That's why I never use these scissors. All right. Pull that out. Fasten that down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the same color. Just getting a slip stitch. Put it on my hook. We're going to attach the same color we're using. And we're going to go into that very first, right here, loop, remaining loop. Attach with a slip stitch. Chain one. Tighten my tail down a little bit. There we go. And single crochet right, yeah, I chained one. Single crochet right back in there. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around for round 18. Single crocheting into that remaining loop. And you sh it should, well, I guess it could be a little difficult. Let me show you guys, make sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. So if you can see, the ridge right here that's left from my other loops of the single crochets we worked in. When we worked our back, we worked into the back loop, but that left our other, our front loop, and that's what we're working into is the ridge that li leaves right here. So for round 18, we're just single crocheting into that ridge, into each uh, remaining loop. And this is how our brim is going to start. So go ahead and work that around, working one single crochet into your remaining loop all the way around. And I will meet you guys at the end. All right, I'll be right back. So I wanted to show you guys a little trick that I kind of noticed that helped while I'm working along. If I take that last row uh, single crochet we worked and I lay that flat, see how that ridge st sticks up that we need to work into? That kind of helps because it is a little bit of a pain trying to get it, these in there. So just lay that down and it stands up. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay with you. I'm almost done. Oops. Two more to do right there. And don't miss that last one right there. In there there all right now I'm gonna slip stitch to my first and that is the end of round 18 right 18 yes okay so now if we look at our hat this is what the bottom should be looking like and if yours is a little tight on your doll, you might just give it a little bit of a tug. You may have to adjust her hair. I had to use a cat brush on my on my doll's hair because her hair was all kinds of fluffy. And uh, and if it's still if it's still just a tad bit too tight, put it on her head and then just use a little bit of steam and then give it a couple little tugs. I'm not like you know stretch it way out, just a couple little tugs, and it'll loosen it up and fit her head a little bit better. So. Uh, I was going to give you homework, but I'll just go ahead and stay with you. This is going to be a long video, but that's all right. I'm getting my tails out of the way. 
Let's tuck them inside. All right, so we just finished 18. So for round 19, we're gonna single, or chain one, I didn't do that yet. Single crochet into our first, single crochet into our second, and increase into the next. single crochet into the next and the next and increase. So we're back to working the increase round. So this one is two singles, increase, two singles, increase all the way around. So go ahead and repeat that. And I'm going to meet you guys at the end. Okay. So I've come to the end of round 19 and I have one more single crochet to work into. My, the one I worked right here is an increase. So my last one is going to be just a single, which yours may be different. It's not that big of a deal. The, the stitch count, I mean. Okay, so now here's our slip stitch. Here's our chain one. Here's our first. So we're going to slip stitch into that. And now we have round 20. Round 20. We're going to chain one and we're just going to single crochet. Don't forget to work into your very first one. We're just going to single crochet into each single all the way around. So this is an easy one and I'm running out of yarn here. All right, so we're going to finish this and then I'm going to give you guys a little bit of homework. And that is going to be the last homework you're going to have for this entire project. And it's super simple. Nothing, nothing complicated that you haven't already done 15 times. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and finish, finish your round uh, 20 and we'll be right back. Okay. So now we're coming to the end of round 20. I have one more I need to work into. I'm going to slip stitch to my first. And chain one okay so that's the end of round 20 and now you can see your brim forming this is the brim of our hat right here so we have a few rounds we're gonna do for homework grab my marker okay I've got my marker now we're gonna start with the homework section so we just finished round 20. So we're going to do round 21. So round 21, we're going to single crochet into the very first stitch into the <laughs> first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into the next, what is it, two. I can't read my handwriting on my, on, so like when I'm designing, what I'm doing is I'm trying it and if it doesn't work, I scribble everything out that I wrote down, pull out what I've worked, you know, crochet, crocheting what I've worked. And then start over again. <laughs> Sometimes it gets to where I can't read what I've written. Let's see. It's one, two, three. Okay. So then we're going to single crochet into the next two. So what we have is two single crochets and then the first one we work. So then we have three single crochets and then our increase. Increase into next. Single crochet into the next three stitches and then we're going to repeat that around repeat from asked repeat from asterisk around slip stitch to our first chain one and we're going to move on to round 22 we're gonna single single crochet into the first and 
into the first stitch and then we're going to single crochet into the next into the next three stitches and then we're going to increase into the next single crochet because we have three and then the very first one so that's four single crochet into the next four into next four stitches and then we go ahead and repeat from our asterisk around. Okay, so we're going to repeat from our asterisk around. So that's increase, single crochet four, increase, single crochet four, and then we're going to slip stitch to our first and chain one. Okay, so that's round 22, round 23, actually it's round, round 23 to round 25, it's just single crochet round, single crochet into each stitch. Okay, so that's round 23, 24, and 25. And then just mark them off after you work the row. The round, 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 round. Ugh. <laughs> so that's your homework, and that's the last of it. That is it. There is no more homework for this video. And um, I forgot to say it earlier, too, but I've said it a hundred times. I'm going to say it again and again and again. Email me. If you need any help at all, don't hesitate to email me. I will help you the best way I can. Um, what else? So what we're going to do, we're almost done with the hat. So we're you're going to work these rounds, 23, 24, and 25. And then at the end of round 25, I'm going to come back. And then we're going to work one more round, and our hat is done. And all that's left to do is decorator a little bit. I think I might add a little white um a little white around her collar. We'll see. So anyhow, get this, get your homework done and come back here and we're going to finish this up and then we're going to be done and our doll bed doll is going to look gorgeous and we're going to sit on our bed and everybody's going to love it. <laughs> well, that's my hopes. All right, get <laughs> get your get your hat done to round 25 and then come back. Okay, guys. So I'm coming to the round end of round 25, and this is what our hat's looking like. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna single crochet into the last one, because I didn't do that. We're gonna slip stitch to our first, chain one, and we're gonna pull up a loop. Make sure you pull up big enough so you can weave in your ends, and we're gonna cut. Ooh. Okay. So now, I'm going to pull that out, and we are going to work one more round, and this hat is done. And for this last round, all we're going to do is just put a white little border around it. Sorry, I'm bumping my camera. So I'm going to take my white, because I did it again, <laughs> and I'm going to get a slip knot. Make sure you leave a tail to weave in your ends. I'm going to get a slip knot. Get that on my hook. And I'm just going to attach into that same stitch that I slip stitched into and fastened off. I'm just going to pull that through. Slip stitch, chain one, tighten up my tail, and single crochet right back into it. And that's all we're going to do is just single one single crochet all the way around with our white or whichever color you guys choose. <laughs> so
So go ahead and just single crochet around one more time and then we're going to be done. Okay, I've made it around with my white. Get my tails out of the way. I'm going to single crochet into my last. Slip stitch to the, my first. Chain one, pull up a loop. Cut. Pull that. And there is our hat. Okay, I'm going to get some things organized around me and out of the way so we can, I'm going to put my, my um, hat on her, but I want to do it on camera so you guys can see. All right. love it. Stretch that out a little. Look how cute. I'm happy. I have a huge smile on my face. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys, I hope you guys do have a doll that just like whenever, it, it's not the doll, it's the doll and the dress. It just makes me so nostalgic from what my grandma used to have. But anyway, I'm going to get a couple of supplies together because we're going to, we're going to decorate her up a little bit. I think I might add a white um, collar right here. And then we need to sew buttons on the back to be able to um, button it shut right there in the back. Let's see, I might... Wait, hot glue ribbon around her hat right there, or I might leave it alone. Okay, so I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've got some of these bows I got from Walmart. And I think I'm going to put a white one maybe right in the center of her chest. And then I've got, I wish I had bigger ribbon, but I don't. I've only got this thin one, the thin one. trying to see okay it's an eighth of an inch so it's kind of thin I wish I had the th some thicker but that's all right I can make do and I got my hot gun here hot glue gun I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and get that turned on so it's nice and hot and of course I'm gonna do all this without weaving in my ends first because I'm excited Hot glue gun turned on. It's ready to go. And I think I'm just going to stick with a white bow. And these big white ones. Maybe put that right in the center. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Put a white bow in the center. And then I've also got these little, these little roses. I got those from Walmart too. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll, let, I'm going to, I'm going to put the bow on her. This is little roses. I'm going to put the bow on her and then I'm going to do the ribbon around her hat. And then I'll see if I want to add the those little roses somewhere. I'm not, I don't know. I may not. Okay. So I'm going to take my ribbon. I'm just going to pull some out. And I'm going to go around her head until my hands touch. And then I'm going to pull a little more out so I can tie. Pull a little bit more. I'd rather have too much than not enough. But I'm going to tie it around her head Try to make this to where I can get around the camera without bumping it. Okay. 
but I'm just going to tie this in a bow. I can't move her because right where I have her setting, the end of her dress is right next to my hot glue gun, and my hot glue gun is actually um, hot, and it's gooing out, and I don't want to get hot glue on her dress. Okay, turn your head. Actually, I don't, I don't think I'm going to hot glue that. I'm just going to let that stay right there. Just all I, did, all I did was just tie that on. See the little bow in the back? I'll hot glue it some other time. But I do want to hot glue where the bow go. Oh, here it is. I'm put this little bow right in the center of her chest. So I'm just going to dab a little hot glue on the back of this. I'm just going to set it right there. And let that set. It's so cute. <laughs> Sometimes this more is le or less is more. Okay, I'm going to shut my hot glue off. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a white collar to her. So I'm going to take her dress off. And you know what else I found out that I thought was pretty cool? This dress though, is um, heavy enough, or I guess I shouldn't say heavy enough, sturdy enough, I'll say, is that she can stand up in it. <laughs> I had her standing up earlier um, with the dress on. I thought that was just cool. Okay, so let's adjust this camera. I'm sorry, you guys, for every time I bump it. I don't mean to do that, and I know it probably shakes like crazy. All right, so that's nice and dry. Let's see. I am going to start, okay, so this is her right arm and her left. So I'm going to start on her right and work this way. So that way the single crochets will be facing the way I want. And of course I can't find my crochet hook. I got everything sitting everywhere. Oh, so she was sitting on it. <laughs> so I'm going to get a slip knot on my hook. And I am just going to go right in there. Chain one. Uh, no. I'm going to start on the other side. I messed that up. I'm sorry. Okay. Now I know what we're doing. <laughs> now we're cooking with fire. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go into that slip knot right there. I'm just going to ram my hook in there. Well, I'm going to try to. <laughs> There. All right. Grab a loop. Pull that through. Slip stitch. Pull that tight. Chain one. And I'm going to go right back in there with a single. And then all I'm going to do is just evenly space out singles loosely. I'm not doing them too tight because I don't want it to bunch it up. I don't want it to bunch it up, and I kind of don't want it to be too holy. I don't think it's going to gonna be. Oop, 
too far down. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and talk about us um, sewing the buttons on the back. I, I am going to be using needle and thread, and you absolutely do not have to. You can use whatever you want. Some people like to use embroidery floss when sewing on crochet. I'm just going to go ahead and use needle and thread. And I'm probably only going to do two buttons. I need more than that. Okay. I'm going to chain one. Pull up a loop. Oh, I found my scissors. I set them on my bathroom counter when I went to the bathroom earlier. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, look how cute it is. Okay. I'm going to pause this. Be right back. I'm going to go find me two buttons and needle and thread. Okay. I've got my needle and I've already got it threaded and I've got my two buttons here. Now here's the nice part about this. Since all we're going to need, these are the buttons I have, all we're going to need are these buttons to go in between these uh, double crochets, right? So it's not really going to matter the placement as long as we get it sewn on here and I'm going to do one at the bottom. And I'm going to do one in the middle. But um, what I was saying was that all we have to do is get them put on there nice. And then we can push the buttons in between any of the stitches we want to. So we don't really have to have, you know, perfection. And by no means am I a professional button sewer on her. <laughs> Especially four whole buttons. I get, I forget where I was. All right, so all I'm gonna do is finish sewing this on. And no, ideally, I would use maroon thread, but I don't have any. But that's okay. White isn't going to hurt nothing. Now, I do suggest if you have kids that are going to play with this, I do a really good job of sewing these buttons on. But for mine, I'm not too concerned about it because mine's just going to set on a shelf. Where's my hole there? Ah, there. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and just pick up one of those st stitches from my thread and make a little knot. Oops. Pull it tight. I'm just going to snip and snip. I still got enough thread for my next button. <laughs> so you guys go ahead and sew on your buttons. I'm going to find double crochet I can get these through there we go now it is going to be a little bit of a stretch because it's I want it to be a little bit tighter on her but I'm going to go ahead and sew the other button up probably about right there <laughs> so get your button sewed on and come back and we'll see what else we're going to do be right back Okay, I've got my button sewn on, so I'm going to go ahead and unbutton it. 
and then I'm going to put it on her and I'm going to see if there's anything else I want to add to her. I still haven't decided if I want to put a piece of that thin ribbon around her waist or not because uh, I wish I had thicker ribbon, but I don't. That's all right, though. <laughs> she looks so cute. The collar definitely sets, makes it look a little better. Not that it was bad, I just meant, I mean like, helps it set, um, stand out is what I'm trying to say. Ugh, okay. Get her set up. And before I end this video, I want to show you guys how I get her to stand. Get her all nice and pretty. And look. Oh, I forgot to button it. Dang it. Okay. I need to weave in my ends too, but see, I mean, it's not it's nothing fancy. If you guys want to get really intricate with your button sewing in, sewing to get or uh, where the the placement of your buttons, if I could speak, ugh, <laughs> you can. But I just I don't really mind because nobody's gonna see the back. But there we go. Look. Look how pretty she looks. I don't know if I should do the do the uh, ribbon around her waist or not. Let me adjust this again so I can get her hat on without knocking you guys all the way around. I'm so happy with her. Let's just do a little piece of ribbon and see what that looks like. I guess it's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and do like I did last time. Hold one piece in this hand. I'm going to let it slide through this hand until my fingers come together in the back of her dress. And then I'm gonna pull a little bit more out so I can just tie a bow around her. I don't wanna go too tight. If, you, if I go too tight, because her body is uh, soft, if I go too tight, it'll like dig into her and I don't want, I don't want that look. Okay, turn around, get the hair out of your eyelashes. I've got a huge smile on my face right now. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. She looks great. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say she's done. She is done. If you guys have made it this far with your doll and you're done, give yourself a pat on the back and give yourself a hug too, because why not, right? You turn her towards you guys. Okay. <sighs> I hope you guys really enjoy this and you guys get as much happiness as I do from looking at her. And 
in my description box, I have links to all kinds of stuff. I have links to get the pattern. I have links to my Facebook group. And I have links to my Instagram and Twitter. I have TikTok, although I haven't been on there that much lately. But TikTok's confusing to get your videos right. But anyhow, get on my that click that Facebook link and it's gonna send you to uh my Facebook group. And all you gotta do is um ask for permission to join the group because it's private, so no one can just you know stroll in there and whatnot. And then take pictures of anything you make of mine. I want to see. I want to see what you guys have made of mine and what you guys did to it and how you decorated your stuff or her. And, um, yeah, join that group and send me pictures because I want to see. I want to see. I Like, when I was making this, I actually have another one that I have did. And I didn't finish her, though, because she would, th that dress was more of my, um, um, designing dress and I was just that's the dress that you know I'm I made and then I'm like okay this doesn't work pull the ball back out and then I got the pattern just the way I wanted it and then started this one for you guys and I had made her dress everywhere that's maroon on her was white and then everything that was white on her was this uh, emerald hunter no not hunter this emerald green and I had a dress in mind that I was kind of, I wasn't um, making a dress to match that dress, but I was using the colors, and it's, um, I can't remember her name right now, from Gone with the Wind, that white and green dress she had on. <laughs> I know it sounds, sounds silly, but that's what I had in my mind. But, okay, so, check out that description box, and please subscribe if you haven't. Because you do not want to miss anything. Because 2021, I have got some amazing things in mind for you guys. For you. Because you are the most important. <laughs> so, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Join my face group. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the social stuffs. And leave in your ends on her before you finish your video. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.